So this question says, in the xy plane, the graph of the equation, y equals negative x squared plus 9x minus 100, intersects the line y equals c at exactly one point. What is the value of c? All right, so you have an integrated Desmos calculator that you'll have access to when you take the digital SAT. So my suggestion is actually to just plug this into that calculator to graph it. The graph will look something like this, where this is negative 100, and you have an upside down parabola that looks a bit like this, okay? So that's what you're gonna see. Now, what we have to understand about this graph is the question is asking for the value of C, and they're telling us that C is a line y equals c. So if, and first of all, in order for it to be y equals c, this is our y value, in order for it to be y equals c, we'll have a, we'll have a uh, horizontal line. And it says that it intersects this graph in red at exactly one point. And the only place in which you can do that is here at the vertex, right? So we're looking exactly for the y value of the vertex is practically what this question is asking you to find, y value of vertex to the parabola. So on Desmos, you'd be able to find exactly where that point is. What I see on my side, on my on my um, my laptop that I have opened up to Desmos, is that the y value there is equal to negative 79.75 as a decimal. Of course, our answer choices here are in fraction form, but we can tell immediately that B and D are not the correct answer. I'm going to try choice A to start off and see, well, is it true that negative 481 divided by 4 is equal to negative 79.75? And that's not true. This ends up being negative like 120.25, which is not what we want. So the correct answer here must be choice C, but I'll try it. 319 divided by 4, yes, this is equal to negative 79.75. So that's the correct answer, choice C. Now, if you did not know how to use your graphing calculator, which, you know, you should definitely learn how to use it before you take the test. Um, if you wanted to do this in a more mathematical way, which, I, again, I wouldn't understand why you would want to do that, um, there is a math way to do this, and it would be through this process um, where we find, first of all, the x value of the vertex, which is found by using this um, formula, negative b over 2a. And again, this comes from the equation itself, where for us, b would equal 9 and a would equal negative 1. So once you plug those values in, you would then go on to plug in the x value into the equation itself. And that would help you to find the y value, right? That's how you would get the negative 79.75 for your y value. But why, why go through all that is my suggestion. Learn how to use the calculator, get familiar with the calculator, get familiar with using Desmos on your, on your laptop um, or on your phone. Um, the digital version of the SAT will have a Desmos calculator integrated, so it's right there, super easy. Just pull it up, plug this stuff in, and find the y value of the vertex.